everyone, Elizabeth here from Charlie Goss Style. Today I'm going to be chatting through one base layer, a pair of trousers and a tank top, and how easily you can make five completely different looks by just switching out your topper and your shoes. So today I have chosen a black trouser. I'm using the Effortless Pants from Aritzia, but realistically any trouser will do if you aren't into the pleats like these have. You can also do a flat front. Just make sure that your leg is on the wider side, nothing too tapered because you want to keep it updated. And then we've also got a white tank. I'm using the Square Neck Sculpt Knit Tank from Aritzia, but any white tank would do or a white t-shirt as well. So take a look what's in your closet, likely you've already got it there, and follow along. All of the pieces that we chat through today will be linked in the description box below. Okay, so I'm in my base outfit, I've got my white tank top on, my black trousers. So I'm going to show you how you can make five separate looks using just different toppers and different pairs of shoes. Okay, so I call this look easy mornings. When you don't have a lot of time in the morning, you've got to get your kids to school, you've got to walk your dog, you've got to get to an appointment, whatever it is you have to do, you don't have a lot of time. So all you need to do is throw on a nice trouser, a tank top, an oversized jean jacket, and a pair of athletic sneakers. I have the Nike P6000s here, but you could easily swap this for an A6 or for a New Balance. I actually don't know if they're the P6000s, one second. They are. Okay, so in the second look, I'm using the same base layer, but I've stepped it up a notch by adding in a studded belt, a moto jacket, and a mesh flat. This look I call Cool Mom. The jacket can be worn on or over your shoulders. So my third look is obviously more work appropriate, looks a little more professional than the last Cool Mom outfit. I am still wearing the same base layer, white tank, black trousers, but I switched out the biker jacket for a black blazer and I've swapped the mesh flat for a metallic heel. Sometimes black suits can sort of feel a little bit boring. They fall flat. So there are a few things that you can do to help create interest and depth in your look. So for starters, I have added a black tote bag in a nice modern rectangular shape and it is quite structured. I've also added a metallic heel just to add a little bit of interest to the outfit. I could easily have gone with a black shoe, but the silver just kind of gives a little bit of a pop and adds some more depth into the overall look. And lastly, I have added some mixed metals in my jewelry. I've done my Jenny Bird bangle and my So Pretty Kara Cotter snake bracelet, and then my Charlotte and Osborne So Pretty Kara Cotter bracelets as well. Okay, so this fourth look would be a great weekend look. I have done a couple things to help bring down the vibe a little bit from the last work look. I've taken off the belt and I have added a linen button down. This is the 100% linen boyfriend shirt from The Gap. I absolutely love it, not too scratchy at all. It comes in a variety of colors, but I'm really into yellow right now. So this is a great option for me. Another thing that I've done to help bring down the look but keep it chic and on trend is by adding a mesh flat. I've gone with a mesh flat in nude. These are from Massimo Duty. So by going with a more neutral shoe, it helps to anchor the look as opposed to feeling too heavy on the bottom with all black and then this brighter color up top. It doesn't feel so harsh now. Now in terms of my bag and eyewear, I would also bring those down to a lighter neutral color. It also helps to tie in with the nude shoe. And I do like the light tortoise shell look of these sunnies. It helps to tie in with the yellow top, with the bag, and the nude shoes. It just gives a really airy, effortless, weekendy vibe. A 
Okay, so my fifth and final look is date night. So for this look, obviously, I've just gone with my base outfit, white tank top, black trousers. Because there's not a lot happening with my outfit itself, I've had to create interest by using accessories. So again, the belt, thicker black belt, gold detailing, a bigger buckle, more of a focal point, and then I have this really cute east-west bag. I've also added a strappy kitten heel. Uh, this one is from Tony Bianco. Again, it'll be linked in the description. I've intentionally gone with a strappier, more dainty shoe, and that is because my belt, particularly the belt buckle, is quite large. I didn't want to create too much bulk in the shoe and the belt, causing me to look shorter. So I did go with a daintier shoe and a bigger belt, just to help even out the proportions a little bit. Okay, so there you have it. One base outfit, five very different looks, using items that you likely already have in your wardrobe. If you don't have the exact items, totally fine. Look for what you already do have that are similar and go from there. As we always say, you don't need to invest in a ton of pieces. As long as you have a really great capsule wardrobe for both spring, summer, fall, winter, then you can make endless amounts of outfits. If there's an outfit that you liked best, we'd love to hear it in the comment section. And if you have any questions, let us know and we'll be sure to answer. Thanks for spending the time with me.